Alberto, not going to impact us in Florida, Bobby. No, it is not. Perhaps some swell by later this week, uh, getting towards the weekend, but it's not a lot of wind even. It's 40 mile per hour winds with gusts to the 50s, and most of that wind is blowing in this direction, so we would get swell if it was really blowing there, and it's not a whole lot, but you can see all the rain that's moved into Mexico, Texas. It became Alberto around 10, 1030 this morning when it got just organized enough to be considered so, but you can see there's the center. All the big convection's on the outside. This is not strengthening much. In fact, it's only forecast to go to 45 miles per hour before landfall late tonight and tomorrow morning at about 45 mile per hour winds. You can see the blue there is as a tropical storm warnings that go all the way up into Texas. Of course, there's been a ton of rain in that direction, but there's also a lot of wind and it's not high levels of wind. We're talking wind in the 20s, gusts in the 40s at times offshore. But what it is, it's a it's a large area of water that that steady wind is blowing over. So two to four foot of storm surge has been happening all day out there. So many of those islands, especially up towards Galveston, are underwater, two to four feet. And you can see it's a little less. You get up towards Lake Charles and a little less down towards Corpus Christi. But storm surge issue going on right now. You can see the winds. There's the center, but this, it's this fetch out here with those winds in the 30s, even some gusts, as I mentioned, into the 40s pushing in that direction.